hello guys and welcome back to this channel this is scan city academy now in the previous lecture we learned how to add and subtract sets however in this video we are going to look at how to multiply sets so if you are new here do well to subscribe to this channel like the video and share the video to your friends so in the previous lesson we learned that the square root of a number can be expressed as the product of the square root of its factors so that if we have the square root of 35 then we can express this as the square root of 7 times 5 and this is also equal to the square root of 7 times the square root of 5 now in the reverse approach we can say that if you have let's say the square root of 2 times the square root of 7 then this is equal to having the square root of 2 times 7 which is equal to the square root of 14 because 2 times 7 is equal to 14 again if you have the square root of 3 multiplying the square root of 3 that is equal to the square root of 3 times 3 which is equal to the square root of 9 now square root of 9 is equal to 3 so you have your answer to be 3 now for this same question you can as well say that the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is equal to the square root of 3 squared now the square cancels the square root and then you have your answer to be 3 so whichever approach you use you should arrive at the same answer now let's solve some more examples now before we do that let's take note of this very important thing if you have the square root of a multiplying the square root of b then that is equal to the square root of a times b however if you have the square root of a plus the square root of b you cannot add these two terms because the value under the square root is not the same so you have to leave it as it is in this form because this expression is already in the simplified form so now let's move ahead and solve some examples so for the first question we have the square root of 2 multiplying into bracket 3 plus root 2 so to solve this let's multiply across so we have root 2 times 3 and that is 3 root 2 and then we have root 2 times root 2 which is root 2 squared so we can simplify this expression as 3 root 2 plus now the square cancels the square root so we are left with 2 so the final answer is 2 plus 3 root 2 now let's solve the second one we have root 3 multiplying root 2 minus root 3 so like we did for the first example we are going to multiply across that is root 3 across so root 3 times root 2 is equal to we have root 3 times root 2 minus root 3 times root 3 is root 3 squared now 3 times 2 is 6 so we have root 6 minus here the square cancels the square root so we have 3 we are left with 3 so the final expression looks like this we have negative 3 plus root 6 so let's solve the third example for question number 3 we have 3 root 2 multiplying 4 root 2 
plus 2. Now let's solve this together. We are going to multiply 3 root 2 across. Okay. So we have 3 root 2 times 4 root 2 plus we have 3 root 2 multiplying 2. So this multiplies this plus this multiplies this. Now 3 times 4 is 12. So we have 12. And then root 2 times root 2 is root 2 squared. Now 3 root 2 times 2. We are going to multiply 3 and then 2 to get 6. And then we multiply by root 2. So we have 12. And then the square cancels the square root. So we have 12 times 2 plus 6 root 2. Now 12 times 2 is 24. So we have 24 plus 6 root 2. Now we can factor out 6. So we have 6 outside and inside the bracket 24 divided by 6 is 4. So we have 4 plus 6 divided by 6 is 1. So we have 1 times root 2 which is root 2. So this is our answer. This is what you are supposed to get after multiplying this expression. Let's take our fourth example. So for question number four, we have 3 minus root 2 multiplying 2 plus 3 root 2. So what we are going to do is we are going to pick one term and then multiply with 2 plus 3 root 2 and then we pick the second term and then multiply with 2 plus 3 root 2. So we have 3 multiplying 2 plus 3 root 2 and then we have negative root 2 multiplying 2 plus 3 root 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 root 2 is 9 root 2 because 3 times 3 is 9 and then we multiply root 2. Now we have negative root 2 times 2 that is negative 2 root 2 and then we have negative root 2 times 3 root 2. Now the coefficient of root 2 is negative 1 so we have negative 1 times 3 which is negative 3 and then root 2 times root 2 is root 2 squared so we have 6 plus now because we have like things we can subtract so 9 minus 2 is 7 so we have 7 root 2 and then we have negative 3 and then the square cancels the square root so we have negative 3 times 2 so now we have 6 plus 7 root 2 minus 3 times 2 is 6 so minus 6 now we have plus 6 minus 6 so it goes to 0 so we are left with 7 root 2 so this is our answer now let's solve our last question for today so let's say we have the square root of 3 multiplying 2 root 3 plus 2 over root 3 so like we did in the previous examples we are going to multiply the square root of 3 across so we have square root of 3 times 2 root 3 so that's going to be 2 into brackets square root of 3 squared plus root 3 times 2 is 2 root 3 and then divided by root 3. Now because the square cancels the square root, we have 2 times 3 plus root 3 cancels out root 3. So we are left with 2. Now 2 times 3 is 6 and then 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. 
so that's it for today's video if you like the content of this video feel free to like comment and share among friends don't forget to subscribe to receive more interesting videos hope to see you in my next video bye bye